Hello and welcome. I'm Raghav and I'm creating this video as an update on Cypress. So in the next video, we will learn the Cypress project setup. And in that video, you will see all these steps to get Node.js, Visual Studio Code. Then we will create a new folder on the Cypress uh, for our Cypress project. We will open this folder in VS Code and then we will run the command npm init minus y and then we will run the command npm install cypress now they have there is uh, an update and therefore i am adding this video before the next video so that when you watch the next video you will not get confused and you will see what is the update so let me show you uh, i am opening my vs code and i will create a new folder now do not worry i will show you all this step by step in the next video this is just an update video so i'm going to create a new folder on my system and i will say i will say this is cypress project and you can open it here in vs code by saying file and open folder and then browse to the folder or i can directly drag and drop this in my vs code and i will trust this and this is started this is added to my vs code now i will go to my terminal i will go to i can go from here on the top i can go to terminal and say new terminal or i can use this key combination control shift and the back tick key or i can just press control and j key on my keyboard this will open the terminal and let me expand this. So I have opened the terminal and it opens on the same folder that is our project folder. And here I will first run the command npm init minus y. This will start a node project and will create a package.json file. So you can see it has started and uh, if I check a package.json file is created here, and then I will run the command npm install Cypress, this one. So I will go again here to my terminal and I will say npm install Cypress. Now this will install the latest version of Cypress. Just in case you want to go with any earlier version, you can say at the rate and then give the version number, let us say 9.0.0. You can also go to the Cypress website, cypress.io. And here we have this what's new link. If you click here, it will take you to the new releases. So the latest one is this 9.5.1. But in case you want to get any of the earlier versions, you can say in this command, you can add this at the rate and the version number. As of now, I will go with the latest one. So I will say npm install Cypress and hit enter and it will download and install Cypress on this project or on this folder. And that is the reason we have started our node project by saying npm init minus y so that all the installations that we do now on this folder will stay within this local folder. So once we have got Cypress, you can check uh, the Cypress function by running the command npx cypress hyphen v this command npx cypress hyphen v will show you the version of cypress so you can see as of now it is version 10 that i am getting on the documentation it was not yet there but this is the latest version which is now present and now i can also run the command npx cypress verify so this will make sure that cypress is installed properly there are no missing libraries or dependencies. So if you run npx cypress verify, it will check and everything is fine. So now we have uh, checked this commands and now I can run the command npx cypress open to start cypress. So now I will say npx cypress open. And here are some changes after you say npx cypress open you will see some changes and that is the reason i'm creating this updated video so when you run this command you will see this cypress ui coming up and here we have two options if you want to 
do E to E testing, that is end to end testing, or if you want to do component testing. And this is this was not there earlier. Earlier we did not get these options, but now we are getting this. So uh, component testing is still in the beta phase, where you can actually. Uh, test your components in isolation like a unit testing. But as of now, I will go with E2E testing. So I'll click here, E2E testing. And you can see as you do this, all the configuration files are added. And this is the cypress.config.js file added. And then we have the E2E.js file. And you can see all the other configuration files are added here. So I will just say continue here. And now we can select the browser. So I will select Chrome and say, start E2E testing in Chrome. So this will open the browser and you can now see it will uh, show us the specs and you can create new empty spec or you can also create the example specs. So uh, earlier when we said, uh, when we used to run this command, npx cypress open, we actually used to get a integration folder and inside the integration folder, we got these example specs, but as of now we don't get the integration folder. And if you want to add the example specs, that is some uh, already created templates, you can use this. Or if you want to start with the empty spec, you can select this. So I will say empty spec. And this is how uh, we now have a E2E folder instead of integration folder that we used to have earlier. And then this is the, this is how we create the file name. So we say whatever name you want to give, you can give here. And then we say dot C by and dot JS. So I will say create spec. And this is some sample, which is added. And you can also check in your project. If you go back to your VS code, and if you see your folder structure, you will find a Cypress folder is added here. And if you open this, you will see a E2E folder. And then in the E2E folder, this is spec.cy.js file, which is added, where we are just going to this website example.cypress.io. So I can also just say run the spec from here. And you will see the spec will get executed. And it will run in the Cypress test runner. So you can see this is running. And now if you want to add more specs, so you can see here, if you check here, I will say close. And here, if I check the settings, so let me show you. I will again say start E2E testing and I will go to the settings here. So if I go to the settings, I go to project settings and you can see the specs, the pattern for writing the spec file says it will go in the Cypress E2E folder, which is this folder here under Cypress folder there is a E2E folder. So here we will write all our test files or test scripts. And then the pattern should be, you can give it any name and then it had it, they should be extension dot CY and then it can be dot JS or dot TS or dot JSX. So this is what will be considered as a spec. You can change this as well in Cypress uh, config.js file if you want to. So you can see here, we have Cypress config.js file. We can make changes here, but otherwise, if you want to add any new spec, it should follow this pattern. So I will go to my E2E folder and click on this new file. And I will say, this is my test one. And then I will say dot C by and dot JS. So this is the name I have given to my test. And now this will be available in the specs here. So if I go back to the specs, you can see this is now available and I can directly run it from here. As of now it is empty. I can add the test here and then I can run it from here. So this was the change. This was the update that I wanted to discuss in the next video. You will see all these steps. And when you say NPX Cypress open, you will see a integration folder because that was 
created with the earlier version of Cypress. So you will not get confused and you will know now that the new changes, as per the new changes, we do not get the integration folder, but we get the E2E folder here. And then this is the uh, pattern to write the specs. The rest of the things remains same. So you can follow the rest of the things as it is. I hope this was useful. Thank you for watching and never stop learning.